Welcome back to video number seven of the Intro to ArcGIS online video series. In this video, we are gonna customize our pop-up so that when we click on a polygon or a point, we see more than just a table. So let's go back to our map document. So here I am back in the map document. And as I click through my polygons here, I see a bunch of information that doesn't really resonate with me as much and it's a bother to scroll through. So I want to show only information that are useful. Information like population within that neighborhood are considered useful. So that is something we can consider putting in our pop-ups. So let's select the Toronto affordability layer, which is the polygon we see here, and go into an icon called configure pop-ups. So that's this one here. Selecting that, it's gonna pop out a window panel here where you can customize the blocks you see for your pop-up. And on the left-hand side, you get to preview what your pop-up looks like. So I'm gonna close this layer box here because we're only dealing with one layer at the moment. So the component in the pop-up right now is called a field list. I'm gonna actually remove it. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna add new content. Now there are four options. The field list is what you saw earlier, but you can also add charts. You can also add image if you like. I'm going to pick text. Selecting text, I'm gonna build some context using my data. So what I'm going to he write here is, in this neighborhood, there are this many people. Now, how do I grab this many people for this neighborhood? So to do that, we have to use the squirrely bracket, and this is gonna be kind of your lifesaver. When you hit the squirrely bracket, it's gonna allow you to connect to one of the column or field in your data set. So we actually created a population field from our enrichment analysis. So let's find that. Unfortunately, there are no search bars to search for that field. You can actually type in pop. So if you type in a letter here, it will filter out the information you want. So this is what I want, 2020 total population. In this neighborhood, there are this many people. And the next information I want to add is probably the average income. So this many people with a median household income of, and then I select the income here. I'm gonna select the column and put period. So if I hit okay now, you see that this example here, it takes in the number. However, it is in decimal place, which We'll have to change later on because no humans are decimals, but it brings in the information of household income as well as the amount of people. So let's add a dollar sign for a median household income. Going back into the text box here, I'm gonna hit dollar sign. So let's add more information that we got from running our analysis tools. Let's add the benchmark prices for different building structures that we got from the real estate layer. So let's do that. I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna put property prices, benchmark prices. And the first one would be average. And that would be our, so if you hit a dollar sign and a squirrely bracket together, it might think it's a different type of symbology that you're doing or some symbolization. So make sure you have the squirrely bracket with the, the dollar sign. We're gonna type in composite because that was our average. And then single detach. So type in benchmark here, we can see the single family detached home. Next one is the single attach. So same thing, single attach benchmark apartment or townhouses. That'd be town benchmark and then apartments as well. Mark. 
We're going to add a dollar sign now, knowing that these are prices. So let's hit OK and see the preview. So now we have a preview of what we did with the text box in our pop-ups. Let's kind of stylize it so it stands out a bit more. So I'm going to actually bold the population as well as the income. Give property benchmark prices a bigger text size. So let's do that. Font family, font size, perfect. We give it a medium here. And then this here I'm okay with. We'll leave it as it is. I'm gonna hit okay. So now we have more kind of context for our pop-up. So each neighborhood we can see how much a detached home sold for on average, apartments, different information. So that's really good to know. What else can we add? Well, we did add the housing tenure demographic data. So let's do that. Now I'm going to do something different. Instead of a text component, I am going to add a different component, which are the charts. Now for charts, I'm going to put housing tenure as the title. I'm going to leave caption out as it is. As for alternative text, I'm going to say a pie chart showing the housing tenure. And yep, that's right. I'm going to choose pie charts here. And then I'm going to select the field and indicate to the map viewer what field I'll be pie charting. So let's select fields. I'm going to select the 10 year field names of band housing owned and rented. So let's hit done. So all of this makes up the housing tenure for that neighborhood. I'm going to hit done. So you see that in my pop-up preview, it shows you rent it accounts for 47% and the own tenure is 52%. Let's take a look at the other ones here. It really shows you who's owning and who's renting these property in that neighborhood. The orange in the pie chart shows what property is owned and yellow is showing what property is rented. Unfortunately, the colors cannot be changed for the pop-up, so we'll have to leave it as it is. But that's how you add a text and also a pie chart to your pop-up. Now, we are actually missing a very crucial information. Each neighborhood has a name, so let's add that for the title. Right now, the title is of our layer name. What we want to do is change the title to something else. So we know we have a field called neighborhood names. So let's type in neighborhood, give it a colon, and find that neighborhood field. So name, area name, hit OK. So now we've added kind of an ID for each pop-up. Before we forget, let's just change the population to a non-decimal value. So to do that, we go into configure fields. So this is something we are quite familiar with when we change the field names. We are going to type in total population and that field will show up. And right now it is rounding the decimal to two. So let's change it to zero, hit done. and. Before we hit done, you can already see the preview. So that's perfect. So I'm going to hit done. And now my, my population value is no longer a decimal. So that's it for pop-ups. Go and configure the necessary pop-up for the point layer information. Like we can add building types or building age, something like that, unit size, unit type. So now adding these data set to these pop-up, it gives you more than just a table. It gives you some context and insightful information for your audience who are viewing these maps. So before you head out, remember to save your file. And until then, happy mapping. Mm -hmm.